Welcome back to another exciting episode. Episode. I'm still too used to my other YouTube channel. Uh, another exciting unboxing here on Civi Today. We have the Road Link Filmmaker Filmmaking Kit. It is a wireless uh, lavalier kit. I do believe it comes with a mic. We'll find out real soon when we open it. I hope it does, because I maybe didn't buy one. But anyway, this is like the new hot new. A couple years ago, the new hotness in uh, in lavalier sort of like single man shooter business. Uh, it's relatively cheap. Uh, it has rechargeable battery. It can run off of USB. Uh, and Rode also makes a lavalier to uh, XLR adapter, which I bought with it. But uh, in the box, it had squeezed out of the uh, little baggie this comes in. So no unboxing, unfortunately. But we can still unbox the filmmaker kit. What do they have to say? <clears throat> it comes with two boxes, your receiver and your transmitter. It says that in several languages. I don't like how the... I don't... I don't... As a person who makes labels, like, what? Why? Why? Moving on. <laughs> Tells you more about it. Uh, it cold shoes onto your camera. Uh, okay, so series two. Apparently there was a series one. This is 2.4 gigahertz. 128-bit uh, encrypted signal if you're worried about that. But you're probably wandering around like a forest going like, and then I stabbed some guys. It's like, it's quite obvious you're making something at that point. Up to 100 meters range, which is quite far, about 300 feet. And it can do uh, AA USB or AA battery or USB power. So it can do either. Uh, either or. And then on the bottom it has a whole bunch of words. Reading in English. These are all uh, designed in Australia. Because Rhodes Australian. So let's get in here. Got to cut in because it comes as two packages. I assume that they sell a pack that is just the transmitter or just the receiver if you happen to lose one or the other. Uh, but the filmmaker kit comes with both. So that's nice. Let's just cut this. Cut this open here. Good thing I've been building models on my desk, or I wouldn't have this uh, exacto. Alrighty. So the transmitter decided to come out first, so let's open that first. It's going to be exciting. So here is your TX Belt wireless belt pack transmitter. Sorry, Printy. I should put that Printy together. Okay, so let's get into these books. Preferably without, like, wrecking the box too much. What does it say? It says it's a belt pack wireless transmitter for the Roadlink digital wireless system. Comfortable and lightweight. It can be fitted to a belt or clothing and features locking thread. A locking thread to ensure microphone connection is secure as possible. Uh, double layer USB. And it comes with a, it's a 3.5 millimeter TRS. And we've seen all the other parts of the box because we already looked on the outside. So let's get this open, hopefully. All right. So we have a plastic clamshell sort of business going on here. Well, only half the clamshell. We have a plastic shell. Here is a wonderful uh, dime bag, just in case, with some instructions in it. Insert batteries at a shallow angle to prevent negative terminal spring deforming. Okay. And it comes with a, a bag, a nice road bag. In the road bag is a road microphone and a uh, clip. Which is good it comes with a dead cat this is more of a you know I'd, I'd probably call this a triple it appears to be this one's made specifically for this microphone it's quite a small microphone which is nice unless you put the triple on it like that and it has a locking connector which is cool and the clip and then we've got our uh, attachment so it can go on to your camera do believe and the rest we've got some delicious e-sorb uh do not eat 
It doesn't say what this is, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that this is uh, some delicious, delicious uh, whatever that stuff is that you're not supposed to eat. silica gel. There we go. I'm gonna hope that that's what that is, and I'm just gonna put that right in the garbage. And then down here we've got a screw with a you know, plastic bit. I don't know what's about that. So we've got the main unit with a clip on here, USB on the side, uh, power on the top. I thought this came with a rechargeable battery. It does not, apparently. That's okay. Um, ah, so this is probably your what that little plastic bit's for. It looks like there's some plastic bits over some screws. And I thought this just like came open. But it uh, does not appear, so... I don't want to, like, force it and hurt myself. Quick start guide. Here we go. Plug a... USB in. Got it. Okay. Powering on. Powered on by two A batteries. Apparently, Sony MPF batteries work. Huh. Uh, there's a battery latch button. Oh. Herb, derp. Right there. <laughs> All right, so there is a sync button to pair it with the other setting. A plus 10 and plus 20 decibel button. Or, that's a toggle. And uh, that, that appears to be it in there. Apparently it can take Sony batteries, but I don't see how it could do that. But, eh, all right. So we'll close that bad boy up. And, uh, yeah, we can plug USB or something into there. I have those. Uh, so let's get this out of the way and this out the way. I just hit the other camera. Now oh, we might need this again. And then let's get into the other box. There's a quick start guide for the road link in the middle. It tells probably tells you how to uh, connect them together. Mounting options. Yeah, stuff I'm going to read later. Stuff you can look up, basically. I had someone comment at one point that, like, this video, they could have just looked it up in a manual. And I'm like, if you're looking at manuals, you've gotten, you've, you're too far. You're going to buy this. Like, dude, <laughs> come on. Why you got to be so harsh? All right. So there's some manuals. Look them up on the internet. And let's get into this box. This is the cam. Cam-mounted wireless receiver for Roadlink digital, digital wireless system features an OLED, dis OLED display, uh, information on level, battery status, mute, and channel selection. Unit can be mounted on a standard camera shoe mount or 3.8 thread or belt clip for added versatility, which in my case means it's going to get mounted probably to a mixer. Either a mixer or uh, this camera here. So it gets mounted in the back of that. I just messed up that shot. That's okay. Probably not going to use that shot anyway. We'll find out if I can get this box open. How does open box? You'd think after this many years of doing it, I'd be able to figure out how to open the box. All right, here we go. I got this. I got it. Ooh, it looks strangely similar to the other one. Just it says RX on it this time. This one's heavier. That's for sure. It comes with a wee tiny cable. Uh, one side locks, the other side does not. So this would go into this bad boy. Or the other way. And it would connect to your camera. Probably this is exactly exactly made to go from road link on top of your camera down into uh, your microphone input on like a 70D or something. I don't like that it shakes. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Uh, anyway, yeah, it comes with a cable. So you've got basically everything you need except for batteries to start recording with this right away. Uh, unfortunately, I don't... I do have batteries, actually. We could record right away. Another guide to tell you how to power it on, which is probably exactly the same as the other guide in that respect. Yes, it is. Because you got to just get all up in here. Oh, the back completely comes off of this one. All right. And we got the same buttons. Uh, this one's minus, though. So if you got a little little hiss, you can do that. Take off that right there. Mm -hmm. uh, what else we got going on here? Two double A's, sync button, 
And that's it on that, on inside of there. Oh no, what have I done? Oh my gosh, okay. Whew, whew, spooky. Uh, this one also has, uh, this one actually has the clip or the circle bit already attached, uh, but you can always pop it off and uh, place it somewhere else like on your belt if you are the sound guy, which I would probably actually, depending on how I'm doing, I, I might actually do that because it's kind of easier than a cold shoe mount on my uh, my setup. Here is your out for your microphone. So it'd go in here. Well, this one would go in here. Go in here. And you just twist and lock it so that theoretically you can't accidentally disconnect yourself. And you've got your on button on the top, channel button on the, uh, on the other top. I do believe that on the transmitter, you can uh, like push this button to change the channel if you have a bunch of road links in the same area. So you don't have to uh, piggyback channels. Or you don't have to sit on the same channel and then pull all the sounds into a single channel. Even though you might be able to do that. You could just buy a bunch of transmitters and then have one receiver, technically. Uh, but at that point, you're not mixing audio. You're just blending it, and that's a a dark pit uh, and then a mute button if required and it looks like that's that's about it so this is actually uh for like five hundred dollars you get a plethora plethora of stuff you get and that goes over there you get a carrying case that's nice that's how to put batteries in it you get uh Basically everything you would need to uh, start using a wireless kit. You get a uh, Broad uh, mic, which is probably guaranteed to be pretty darn good. Uh, your transmitters, a cable to connect them. The only thing you don't get is batteries, which is uh, probably easier just for shipping costs. You can always pick up some of these delicious uh, whoop, Amazon basic batteries for like three dollars or something like that so yeah we could do that anyway that appears to be it thank you very much for checking out this uh sweet uh new toy i've got and hopefully in the future um i'm gonna i'm gonna probably paint this uh this young printy here uh well using this so i can basically have a camera set up and not have to be anywhere near a microphone. Or if I move around, who cares? And I could do like outside stuff or whatever. I don't know. Why would I go outside? It's strange. People do that. Anyway, for today, I'm Simi. And I'll see you guys next time.